hello guys and welcome back so in the previous sessions we have completed the player and the rifle now the next thing which we will be doing is adding the zombies you can use whatever zombie you want and in this game we will use different zombies as you know so the first zombie which we will be adding is this one which is on the Maximo website in the characters you will find this Romero if we scroll up he was right here okay here is the Romero you can use your own zombie character if you want for example as you can see there are many zombies okay there are some monsters as well if you want to use that then you are feel free to use it but make sure that whatever character you use you have the specific animation for that character for example now for this character we will download the animations as I told you when we were creating our player that if you use some other character animation on some other character then it will not work okay so if I'm using this character then I will have to download characters uh, sorry animations for this character separately so let's go ahead and right here type zombie and as you can see there is the package which is by the name of scary zombie pack let's download this package for this Romero as you can see now the Romero is playing the animations okay this is the attacking animation and this is the running and this is the falling or you can see the die animation and this is I think neck biting or something okay let's download this we will select no character and let's click on this fpx for unity let's download the animations on the okay not the character you will download the character separately but first we needed animations for that character so that's why we are downloading the animations first okay the animations are now downloading let's download the Romeo character now if we get back to the characters let me remove that let's scroll down below we have the character right here let's download the character in t pose and then fpx for unity let's download the character as well now okay the character is downloading so as you can see the animation character is now downloaded let's add this to the unity okay here is the character here are the animations let's create a new folder by the name of scary zombie pack Okay, let's drag and drop this inside this one let's click on extract here okay now it has been extracted now we just need the character in this scary zombie folder and guys let me tell you again that you can use this website which is Maximo right here you will find free characters and free animations okay this is really a great website so let's go ahead and add these two first of all right here in the assets let's create a new folder by the name of zombies and inside this zombies we will create another folder let's name this as zombie one and inside the zombie one we will simply drag and drop this so in there just drop it okay we have the zombie one right here it has no textures and materials so what we will do for that click on this materials right here we need to extract both of these so first of all let's come right here and create a materials folder and then 
textures folder now let's click on this let's extract the textures inside the textures folder okay make sure that you first extract the textures okay or else the character will look a little bit funky okay some of the textures will be then missing and when this comes this will click on fix now now as you can see the textures are applied to the character now we just need the material so click on extract materials and inside the materials folder it will be extracted as you can see so now we have the zombie character ready let's come right here and as you can see this is all of our terrain let's select the stairs okay i think the stairs are also on the terrain but i don't know why it our player just showed when the player work on the stairs it shows that it's not on the server i don't know why i think there may be a some problem with the map or whatever okay select the terrain and what we can do we will click on navigation and first of all let's uh, activate the gizmos okay so that we can see how will this work and when you click on the terrain and then navigation open up the gizmos and right here right here make sure that you tick this navigation static and click on this one as well generate off mesh links and then click on this peg right here you can select the footstep height if you want let's leave this as 0.4 and let's click on bake and as you can see it says building a mesh so just wait for it now as you can see after the building nav mesh is completed you can see there is a nav mesh everywhere and on this blue area the zombies can walk okay the zombie can walk right here as you can see let's check this area as well okay the zombie can walk in these areas let's check areas right there okay here are the houses okay as you can see there is nav mesh everywhere now but as you can see there are some places which are missing so what you can do you can actually increase the step height and then click on bake again and you will notice after the bake there are now more areas covered with the new mesh as you can see now okay so you can uh, change these numbers are according to your ground floor or terrain whatever you have okay but if you are following me then these numbers will be good for your game as well so now with the zombie added and the nav mesh added in the next video we will allow the zombie to walk on the ground with this turn catch you guys in the next one